Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct, I hope, on Periscope and Twitter, checking out the forecast for you and showing you a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South area, which does include the possibility of some thunderstorms way on down the line into next week. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never watched us before, this is our live online streaming forecast segment, and if you'd like to find out more about what's going on with our forecast, all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather for more information. We'll keep you updated as to what's going on in and around the Mid-South. Again, never been around this area before. We cover North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and back into around Eastern Arkansas. If you'd like to keep up to date with what's happening in and around this particular area, uh, if you have any questions about the forecast in that location, we'll do our best to update you on that. But if you live outside that location, we'll get to the local questions first and see a little bit more about what's coming up throughout the rest of the area for tonight, which doesn't include much. The southerly winds are going to keep temperatures very much on the mild side out there. So we're going to see, again, some pretty mild conditions across much of the Mid-South. We'd love to know more about where you're uh, joining us from. So if you have a city and state location, don't need the whole mailing address, but thank you for trusting us with that. And give us more details about what the weather is in and around your particular location. And of course, we'll have more details coming up on your forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 o'clock Central Time, if you'd like to tune in uh, for more information on that for tonight. We'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the weekend there. Give me just one second and we'll see if it uh, looks like everything on Facebook is working well for the time being. Don't have to add another layer of tin foil to the emitters, so that's good news. So starting off things pretty quickly and quietly for the time being. So far again for tonight, little if anything in the way of major amounts of problems. It's warm. It's going to be even more warm as we go into the next couple days. Also going to be a little bit more humid out there as the temperatures continue to rise and the air flows in from off the Gulf of Mexico. So by daybreak tomorrow morning, maybe back into the mid to upper 60s or so, and that's going to be about as good as it gets into tomorrow morning for where we see in and around the Mid-South. The days of the very nice conditions of the 30s and 40s and some of those nicer numbers out there that we've seen for the last few weeks of springtime, all about five minutes of it is going to be going away for the time being, so there's just not that much left of it at this point. So some very mild numbers out there uh, for the next several days. SSTF 102 from Bartlett, 79.3 degrees. Very specific on that temperature. Thank you very much uh, for that one out there. And thanks to everybody joining us on uh, Facebook for tonight. Independence, Mississippi, Sydney Ruark, thanks a lot for joining us. This is what it looks like in a nutshell, again, for the rest of the evening temperatures back into around the lower to mid 70s at best and just not seeing too much out there in the way of very cool weather so a decently mild night coming up out across much of the area for this evening and going to be getting even hotter out there not just for mom's day tomorrow but over the next several days we'll talk about that coming up in just a bit sunset was beautiful we're going to be posting more of those pictures we saw just a little while ago uh, on some of our web cameras out across the mid-south so if you'd like to see a little bit more about what those look like stay tuned for more on social media but the view from west memphis arkansas nice little post glow out there some moisture and mainly pollutants and dust that's what happens at this time of the day when the sun stops shining down on the atmosphere Atmosphere, which gets it a little bit more turbulent out there. Once the sun goes away, everything doesn't get stirred up into the atmosphere, so you get that kind of haze layer taking place at that point, and that's exactly what we're seeing right now across the area. Yes, it's hazy. Uh, for those of you who don't like me referring to the term, apparently there's some complaints out there, but again, that's part of what we do see out there outside of just the pollutants out there, and haze layer sounds a lot better than mixed amount of dust and pollutants layer, so that kind of wraps things up a little bit more nicely there. On the opposite side of the sky, we're watching toward downtown uh, Memphis. It's in the middle or the bottom of the 7th uh, for the Redbirds tonight. And they are going to be doing fireworks after the show, so we'll be hopefully bringing you some pictures from over the lights of downtown Memphis coming up a little bit later this evening. Decently, decently clear out there for tonight. And the view from our Cotton Exchange camera overlooking the Peabody, Union Avenue, 3rd Street down that direction, and off toward the Medical District. Very bright with those lights out there in AutoZone Park downtown. So a beautiful evening for baseball in the Bluff City. Not seeing anything on Storm Tracker 3S radar. We've ramped up the sensitivity. That's why we're picking up this green area right here, uh, detecting everything from planes, dust, just trace amounts of moisture in the atmosphere. And we're not seeing anything around the Mid-South where it comes to anything in the way of rainfall at this time. 
Steve Foster from Corinth, Mississippi. Thanks for joining us. Tanya Williford from Forest City, Arkansas. Andrew Butler, welcome from uh, Jonesboro. Carolyn James from around Corinth, Mississippi as well. Thank you for joining us. And Sin Sinnerman 6, welcome to the show on Periscope for tonight. Thanks a lot for dropping on by. Rest of the forecast looking like this. Again, numbers back into the mid to upper 60s through about mid-morning. Now getting into around daybreak tomorrow, right before daybreak, we might see a couple of temperatures back in the mid-60s, but I think that's going to be very few and far between, and that's going to be about it for the cool weather. Mom's Day tomorrow, church Sunday school right after that for lunchtime. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 70s, easily topping 80 in some parts of the area. And by dinner time tomorrow, that'll be our high temperatures for the day after lunch and into the rest of the forecast. Temperatures going back in the lower 90s. The moving lines on screen... That's showing the winds out there. We're going to continue again to see those winds out of the south-southwest, bringing us warm temperatures right off of northern Mexico and also bringing us, again, a lot of moisture off the western Gulf. So that's why it feels a little bit more hot and humid out there into the course of the next couple of days across the Mid-South. Uh, Tracy Barnes Moore, can we tell how the weather is in Biloxi, Mississippi and Ocean Springs? We'll see if we can grab that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. I'm going to have to sign off here in just a little bit. My phone is running out of power, but we'll get what we can in there for you in just a little bit. Linky Mizzy Mim 6 something like that, if my bifocals can read that. Thanks for joining us on uh, Periscope for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Bozo Wolfolk, 78, in Senatobia, Mississippi. Thanks for tuning in there as well. Rest of the forecast tomorrow, again, for most of Mom's Day, looking pretty quiet. And right before daybreak on Monday, Todd Demers' forecast coming up into the evening hours. So again, looking at numbers back into the 70s as we get into around Monday after Monday morning, and then another hot day coming up on Monday as we go into the course of the rest of what's left of the uh, next week as well. Back in the lower 90s, mostly sunny, very mild for the start, and very warm conditions uh, into the mid south area as we go toward around the rest of the day. And again, still not seeing anything in the way of chances of showers and thunderstorms uh, into and around the Mid-South. Back into Monday, temperatures back in the lower 90s once again. Mostly sunny, very much on the warm side out there. Not exactly blazing, record-breaking hot, but it's going to be getting stair-stepping upwards to about the lower 90s out there throughout the course of the rest of the forecast into the Mid-South area. Cooling off so to speak, a little bit as we go toward the end of the week. Temperatures back into the lower 80s or so. Rich Bercher joining us from uh, Topeka, Kansas into that area. And congratulations, I should add, to my goddaughter, Bethany, uh, graduating from Emporia State University today. Wish I could have been there. Schedules were not able to mesh together right there. So again, congratulations to Bethany Bercher, my goddaughter, on graduating uh, for today. The cap and gown looks good on you. Good luck to you uh, in your future. And let keep Keep us up to date is what comes up next on there. Rest of the forecast, again, starting to get back into the 90s by next weekend. Hopefully the rain showers will dwindle a bit by next Saturday, but unfortunately it looks like some of those might be sticking around as we go toward next Sunday or so. And that, again, could be some problems for outdoor activities. Anything past... Tuesday night is going to be a chance of showers and thunderstorms until about next Tuesday. It doesn't look like much, but again, if you have outdoor activities, you want to be set and ready for this. So in case you do have to move back indoors again very quickly, you have that opportunity to do so. So please get that ready to go and have some plan B, C, Ds, and other alphabet numbers just in case you need that out there. All right, weather where the troops are, taking a look around the country and beyond to see what's going on with troops uh, that are serving with the United States military at various posts, including our own naval support activity in Millington, 79 degrees located there. Guantanamo Bay in Cuba, another tropical day, no big surprise, back in the mid to upper 70s, very close to the same conditions in Guantanamo as is in the Mid-South right now, with the exception of those northwesterly winds. Europe and the Mediterranean, 50s and 60s, some rain still falling around Pristina, and very cool, 53 degrees. Back in the 90s, right before sunrise, Sunday morning in the Persian Gulf, 80s and 90s reported there. Back into Iraq, temperatures a little cooler. Back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, some thunderstorms earlier this morning around Baghdad. Don't usually see those markers. Afghanistan in the upper 60s around Herat, 50s, Kabul and Faizabad, and 70s around Kandahar, so some fairly mild temperatures in the higher elevations there. Back into South Korea, 60s across the peninsula. 
And numbers, again, decently quiet. Uh, some rain and thunderstorms earlier this last weekend, but not that much going on right now. And heading out to around the area of Joint Base, Pearl Harbor, and Hickam, 85 degrees in the Hawaiian Islands just about a couple hours before sunset and looking beautiful out toward Oahu. We're keeping our eyes on those volcanoes out there as well, so keep in tune to News Channel 3 for more on that. World weather and climate, all available from the World Meteorological Organization, public.wmo.int. Country 92.5 and oldies 102.3. If you want to keep up to date on the forecast on the radio, we'll keep you updated throughout the course of the rest of the weekend, so stay tuned for more information there. I'll have more details on the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at Mike Sadie will have sports, and of course, Kristen Holloway will have all the day's news. And don't forget, I'll have another update of the forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning. And that's where we'll see again the numbers coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak uh, into and around the area. Tracy Barnes Moore into and around uh, Biloxi. Looking like right now it's going to be decently warm into and around that area for the time being. Uh, for the point right now, it looks like most of the activity down that direction is going to be, and unfortunately I can't bring this up on my computer system for right now, but down into and around that general area, looks like we are going to be seeing uh, some temperatures pretty mild at this point. And around Biloxi, temperatures back near 80 degrees for right now, and looks like some stray thunderstorms possible into the next several days, so it uh, might be a bit of a problem if you're heading out to the beach anytime soon. So if you're heading down that direction, could be something to take a look at there. Another check of your forecast again tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Questions, concerns, ideas about what you want to see on here, please let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. That'll wrap it up for tonight's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend. Thanks for joining us tonight.